we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life What is going on you guys? It's Stephen from Break Free Homes. Today we're going to be doing the vinyl siding on our edition. Finally going to wrap this thing up. Enough people have said things to me about my siding. My zip isn't beautiful. Don't hate on me. I did this the other day. Came out very nice. Um, still have to do some back fitting in there. And it is going to come one lap or four inches lower, which is not going to be bad. It actually is going to match up pretty close to the actual uh, halfway mark of one piece of siding. So we got that done. Looks freaking mint. And uh, next thing is we're going to get started on this gable end here. So first thing we're going to do is get our outside corner matched up on this. I'm going to show you how we're going to get that done. With you and I, the future is bright. Now for this side I just left it all the way uh, down and I haven't cut it yet. I'm going to cut it using a multi-tool after the fact. I just wanted to make sure that it was gonna be perfect and uh, you know, you don't cut it too short and then you're screwed. So, All right, so I'm gonna kinda explain this with one hand here. We're gonna have to notch this side at your roof pitch right there, which is an E10. And then it's gonna come almost all the way over. So you're gonna measure how far this sticks out over uh, your siding, so your bird box here. You're gonna cut it straight down and then that's basically going to be cut around to the other side to notch out, to give it room for the bird box. Right here we're going to put our 812 right here on this edge. All right, and this will be our new top point of this board for measuring purposes. What we're going to do is measure down from where it's going to come and contact the the corner of the bird box and your your roof pitch. So four, sixteen down from this corner. All right, so it's all cut out. Go ahead and slide it right up in there. It's going to sit nice and tight, and just make sure it's plumb all the way down. Go ahead and tack this thing in place using your siding nails. And then we'll move on. I went ahead and took a level and just, this should be level. Uh, sometimes your cuts on the bottom of the sheathing might not be super flush. So what I did was just uh, draw a level line there. That way it's not wavy at all or anything like that. Give us a nice starting base. It's just gonna go right here. Pretty much, you could just go off the bottom of your sheathing. It's almost what this is, so it'll drop a tiny bit below. Put a few in here, uh, top and bottom, staggering that. Doesn't really matter how tight it is, because it's not gonna be able, it's not gonna be visible after uh, you put the siding over it. So once you get that up, that's just your starter strip. It pops in there. They do make aluminum stuff. Some places don't even carry the PVC stuff, but then it doesn't pop in. It pops in here nice and secure, and uh, I just went with this little bit of peace of mind that it won't pop out. Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon, side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. All right, guys, J channels the one on the window, outside corner posts here, done. Starter strip done. We still need to put J channel up on this gable end up here. But I'm just gonna wait till we get up there to do that. Uh, so let's get cranking on this vinyl. And uh, yeah, it's 12 and a half foot, so should cover most of it. Same really as the other side. Not too many seams. Just one thing to consider is where you put your seams. Um, if you want your lips to be more visible from one way or another. I'll show you when we get there, but it makes a difference.
All right, first one's on. It's all held in there because we use the plastic PVC uh, starter strip instead of that metal. So we're just gonna pull it up to make sure it's seated correctly. And then we're gonna make sure our spacing is correct on your, your outside post. Give it a little bit of wiggle room. It needs play or else it'll look bad. All right, freeze an inch and a half. Aluminum siding nails. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Alright guys, we have come to our first obstruction um, on this wall. Yeah, we have the light up there. Tiny little one, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But uh, it is an obstruction. So what we're going to do is measure up from here into the J channel. And we're probably going to be six and three quarter uh, from the bottom of the lap. So we'll just set our full piece up right here. Let me grab that. So we're just gonna get our piece. Uh, this piece is obviously going all the way across this. So we're gonna sit it right up under it, get it in our channel on the right side just to see where we're sitting. If I can get it in. All right, that's it on that side. Just mark it to get it inside your J channel. It's gonna be set off a little bit. side to side, uh, six and three quarter up from the bottom. And then we'll cut it and it'll slide right in like a gem. We'll be on to the next one. All right guys, so I went to put this up. It fit nicely, but uh, it just kind of Dilly dallied, flopped around a little bit in this uh, J channel. So I went ahead and put some finished trim under there. Just holds it in a little bit tighter um, and then gives it a nice finished look. That way it's not flopping around in the wind or anything. So that's up. I'm gonna finish that row, hit the windows, and we're freaking almost the second story. I'm kidding, we don't have a second story, it's just the uh, gable end. There might be a better way to do that. Uh, when you have like short pieces, they don't flex too much and you're putting them into double J channels. Uh, top down, you know, if you have to bend it because uh, you're doing it like a repair, that's one thing I guess, but I find this to be pretty easy as long as you can reach it, right?
right guys, it's gonna be a pain in the butt without staging in a second person, but let's get to it. Some people might say they have a better way, but uh, yeah, drop down below. You have a better way to do this? Down below. We're all listening. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye-bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. My crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart right now. I'm bleeding, an easy kid, gonna leave it all behind. I think it's time. All right, guys, that is a good stopping point for the day. Uh, as you saw, it was kind of hard to get a cut piece in there. I wanted to flop down, so I just had to go in the middle and place it up there and then get it done. Uh, the second long piece, the full run, I was able to just, you know, you put it in there and it's gonna pop down if you go to the other side. So you just gotta slide it in, feed it through, and make sure it's locked on the channel, and then it'll stay up. Then you can adjust it a little bit uh, more finely if you need to. But uh, I'm so excited to get this thing wrapped up get the building permit signed off on and uh, move on. You know, we've started a few other projects and I'm not done with this one. So gotta get this one wrapped up uh, so we can do some other crazy stuff. All right, guys, we're back at it this morning. A little bit nasty out here, super muggy. Uh, I got the ladder set up so we can try to get this done as good as possible, as fast or as efficiently as possible. I don't have a board. I got them propped up down here. hopefully we stay all set um, try to get up there show you what we got going on uh, we're gonna knock all this siding out today and we're gonna move on to the next I'm going to show you a couple different ways, um, obviously, to, uh, we don't even have J-Channel up here yet. All right, let me get some J-Channel up here. All right, guys, so I got my J-Channel up. Uh, I got this scrap piece here that we're going to use to find our angle uh, for the pieces that we're going to have to cut on this gable end. So basically, what you would do is you just put this up here, inscribe a line all the way across, and that's going to be your angle for all your pieces. Um, going up this wall, just make sure you keep that piece you cut. Um, and that's your cut line or you could if you have a pitch gauge like something like this um, you can go ahead and put it up here if you don't already know your roof pitch which you probably should because you're cutting all this stuff a12 right there you could use a speed square on the ground do the same thing uh, and then you'll get your cuts from there but a couple different ways
All right, you guys just finagled that last piece in there. Uh, one thing I would change if I did this again, I would move that uh, that light box or that J channel box down a little bit. Uh, that last piece was kind of uh, small. Uh, I went in there decently, uh, but looks pretty darn good. Now we got to trim out this door, um, and then I think we're gonna put a um, breaker board back on that tan siding, and then we'll get the siding above over here. Get this freaking permit signed off on and be done. Get our taxes to go up. It's gonna be great. So right now everything is peeled back um, in between those two windows when we replace this one because we put the sink there we needed to raise it up so that um, channel was ruined when we did it and basically the siding was too short so I had to rip all the way back to that window or it could have probably notched out in the siding but it's probably more work so we'll just rip that all the way back we're gonna put the J channel around the window and then we'll put that siding back in right here we're prepping for our breaker board, which is gonna meet our 1212 roof up here. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta frame this door out and put some channel on it. And uh, we should be ready to go get this freaking thing done. Right now on the bottom, there's a, a generator hook up here. So I'm gonna basically cut these pieces back while they're still attached to the house uh, for the breaker board. So, you know, take your, your width of your trim and then add that with your space of your J channel and then your gap uh, and that's how far we're going to cut back now. So this is a PVC trim piece. It is a true one inch piece, which most trim pieces are three quarters of an inch, but just make sure you pick up that one inch piece because your J channel will stand out proud of your trim if it's not a one inch piece. All right, so I just got this window trimmed out. I tried to match the other existing window on how they trimmed it with the J channel. Different than how I did it on the other window. I kind of like the other way better. I think it looks cleaner. Um, but yeah, I think we're ready. We got our J channel there. So we are ready to fill this back up to our breaker board. So let's freaking go. All right, guys, we've got our starter strip, corner post, finished trim up top, J channel around the door and the breaker board right here. Uh, 
have nothing on the bottom there. We're gonna see where it lines across. Uh, we're gonna go up on this side and then basically use a level to get us across to that exact, so it matches. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Pretty simple, small wall, let's do it. All right, you guys, it's getting dark here. Uh, I didn't record the final last part of it. Uh, I used a laser to match the, um, the board or the splits um, from the left side of the door to there since it's not like a huge continuous thing. I think it looks pretty darn good. Yeah. 